This is the unboxing of the Gigabyte Z68X UD3H B3 motherboard, obviously B3, for uh, the full support, then you're not going to have any issues with the SATA ports degrading. Uh, this is Touch BIOS, hybrid AFI technology. Note that the actual BIOS in this board, uh, and all Gigabyte boards just have this Touch BIOS, is actually the uh, generic blue and, and white screen Phoenix. Is it a, I think it's a Ward BIOS, it's one or the other. Uh, has the support for internal smart response technology, which basically allows you to partner uh, your hard disk drive with uh, a solid state drive, about 60 gigabytes in size, and it will use that solid state drive as a giant hard disk drive cache. So all the files you retrieve a lot will be stored on that solid state drive for for easy access, and can improve system speed by about four times. That's based on a PC Mark Vantage hard disk drive score. Support for the second generation Intel Core processor, the Sandy Bridge Z68 chipset. Uh, Virtue, uh, uh, GPU virtualization basically allows you to have a dedicated graphics card in the system and be able to utilize the uh, onboard video and have it work for the desktop and then it switch uh, automatically to the video card to do more intensive stuff. S SLI support, uh, all 50,000 hour Japanese capacitors, all Lodi R uh, MOSFETs, all ferret core chokes. A 3 terabyte plus support, 108 decibel uh, signal to noise ratio for uh, Blu-ray full lossless audio, Crossfire X support, Dolby Home Theatre, uh, 3 time USB power, 3 uh, USB 3 and SATA 3 at 6 gigabit per second. So there's 2 ounces in the copper of P in the PCB because of the ultra durable 3 with Japanese capacitors, you know, ferrite core chokes, like RDS MOSFETs. Unlocked performance uh, with uh, Intel K series CPUs, something like the Intel Core i5 2500K, 2600K, or the 2700K. Ultra core, cool, ultra durable, ultra efficient, ultra performance. Best tech award winner since 2007, number one for PC Authority. On the side, we have model number, and then we just have the basic overview of Touch Bar, some Lucid Virtue, Ultra Durable 3, 1155 in, in red there. Back we have benefits and features, more branding, and on the back we get more direct sort of uh, information about the stuff. That's the uh, Touch BIOS interface, which is uh, more of a software-based application. The uh, graph shows the SSD caching uh, ability, 108 decibel signal noise ratio for full bitrate audio. Uh, high, re high definition, 108 signal to noise ratio, Blu-ray DVD audio playback. Uh, low audio small effects, the power efficiency it has, a SATA 3, uh, has integrated graphics, has, has, has support for DirectX 10.1, DVI output, a display port, HDMI, it also does have VGA. There's on-off recharge, SLI, ATI, Dolby. Uh, that's basically it, there's nothing else that I I haven't covered. There's just a, an overview of the board. You can see there's the VGA on the back. Underneath there's the DVI. But we'll, we'll take a closer look once we get this thing open. Okay, we open her up. And we see a warning. Socket 1155, not socket 1156. Yeah, thanks Gigabyte. Multilingual installation guidebook. Users manual with a 6 series drivers disk, different languages, how to install the CPU, where things are located on the board. You're better off uh, uh, throwing this disk away and downloading the later dri latest drivers from the, the Gigabyte website. Intel Smart Response Technology Guide, how to set up. Obviously, you don't want to read those ones, you want to read the English ones. So those ones. Black SLI library. I.O. back panel, nicely uh, color coded, very simple, very clean. USB 3, the 3 times USB power, FireWire, SATA, uh, 7.1 channel, HD audio, uh, VGA, PS2 connections. We have four black SATA cables, two of which are right angle. We have a Dolby Home Theater sticker, a gigabyte powered sticker, and then we have a piece of cardboard. And underneath the cardboard is something much more valuable.
We have the motherboard itself and an anti-static bag. Now remember to ground yourself before handling any electrostatic sensitive devices. Now we go to the back. This, uh, obviously you can tell that uh, this, this motherboard is uh, sort of one of the higher premium boards, hence it having uh, a matte black PCB, the sort of a lower end uh, general workstation motherboards from Gigabyte, have a, a blue PCB. We've got a bit of foam to uh, make sure that the, the uh, heat sink for the, the PWMs and the, the VRMs uh, doesn't fall off during shipping. I mean, in the system, just being idle, that, that'd be fine, but it, it's not an issue. We've got a Lucid Virtue sticker. We've got the, the outputs. We have uh, the dual support for a uh, dual channel DDR3 memory. We have CPU 4 pin connector is there, odd, odd location for it. A PCI Express 1X, PCI Express X16 that runs at X16, a PCI Express 1X, PCI Express, PCI Express 1X, uh, a full length PCI Express X16 that is only electrically wired to 8X, and when you run uh, two cards, it would be uh, 8X, 8X. And then we have two PCI, so you do have some legacy support if you do have an old TV tuner or any other uh, PCI hardware that you do want to add. You have many tons of USB 3 front panel connectors. One, two, three, four uh, USB 2 uh, front panel connectors. So that means that you have a total of eight just of there. These are the on-off recharge because they are color-coded red. There is a USB 3 front panel connector, so this does make it future-proof for those uh, new cases that do come with USB 3 front panel connectors. A CPU 8 pin located in the ideal location, the top left-hand corner. We have the system pan power connector. We have a power fan connector over here. We have we're all fan connectors. There is another 4 pin located down underneath the, the heat sink. There is... I think that's pretty much it. I mean, this isn't... It's something that you'd necessarily work a nice 72600K in it. Uh, this is uh, you would use for an affordable gaming system. This is something that I, I, I can't understand. On uh, some of Gigabyte's new boards, they have the front panel audio connector down here where the COM port is. But for some reason, some of the boards still have the front panel audio behind the actual uh, rear I.O., which means you have to either run the cord across your motherboard or down underneath and then up past the PCI Express. So what I prefer to do is run it through the CPU 8 pin area down here and then plug it in. I mean, they would move it down where all your front panel connectors go. It would probably make cable management a lot more easy. So PCB made in China. These are the two SATA 6 gigabit per second uh, connectors. Uh, the rest are uh, these this, these ones are SATA 2, and these ones, according to this, are also SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second. So do have a Firewire front panel connector, if you so desire. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Gigabyte Z68X UD3H B3 motherboard.